Hello everybody, this is Lee Bamber from The Game Creators and I want to take a closer look this time at the Entity Library. First of all, it should be noted that these are not final visuals. The UI is closer, but we haven't even started on the terrain and the rendering system yet. Now just as before, you'll find the Entity Library in the top left corner, which we've reduced now to a plus button. And instead of actually going through individual libraries, you've now got filters. So all the markers are available in one place. So we'll put down a start marker, say here. And then we can go to entities and we can just basically scroll through all of the entities within our library in one shot. So if you just wanted to just browse casually, you could do that. And still they are divided into the particular categories. But this is where it gets really cool. If you just want to see the characters, just filter to characters. So all you see is characters. You can filter to just buildings or just to objects. Or if you go back to all, you can search by keywords. So find me any entity with the word wood. So these are all the wooden buildings and crates. Find me anything with the word metal. What you can also do as well is multiple selects. So hold down control and you can select all four at once and add them to your library. Freeing you up to just add them into your scene as you need very quickly. Similarly, you can also use this little box to filter out your local library. So let's say I just wanted to find an entity with the word clean. Um, so if I just say clean, I think they all have the word cleaning. So what about all with the word wood? So if I type out wood and we'll drop in this crate and then we just use the word wood it will only list the word wood, and that makes me um, able to just see the entities in my local library that has that word. So you can actually search both your local library and the main library that you can draw your entities from. Of course, you can still use the categories. So there's a drop down so you can find out all the categories currently in your main library. And then you can say, I just want to look at trees. So then you can just list out the trees. So the entity selection has become much more versatile. And the icing on the cake is if you just hover over one of the entities and wait a while, it would literally render that object for you in the background and then show you a preview of it. So you don't need to drop it into the game to see what it looks like. Just hover over it for a couple of seconds, it renders it in the background, and you get to see it in a thumbnail, in a preview thumbnail. So that's a pretty cool feature to accelerate your uh, search for assets. And remember, there's just a few days left to get a 50% pre-order discount if you order in February. Join me next time when it gets really exciting when we take a closer look at the brand new character creator. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.